Hello everyone, we're at Kolo. This is a new Ukrainian business club in Toronto. I'm speaking today. This is my plus one support, wearing her heels. Regretting it already in the car. <laughs> We're excited to finally be outside in a big city. Teenager helped me to with the feet check. She said you have to have pants that can literally feed all your family, fit in. There will be three speakers. They told me I'm a headliner. I have to show you something. The lady gave me this. What's your name? Fortunately, it is my name. I had to put this, but I don't like this as well because it's kind of like a little bit Russian sound of that. Don't like that really. So here we are after two speakers. We have a break, but I can truly say that the audience here is like very, very in the beginning stage because a lot of things that were said are pretty basic. I've been doing this social media thing for like 13 years now and every event I have went to was like pretty much about the same thing. And, and she's just excited being somewhere in the big city, uh, outside of a uh, no, small town and kids. In the big city. I'm going to say that to be around people. I thought you were going to say with you. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's the first day of my business. It's Monday, 7 in the morning. I already had shower and going to look for bre oh. a Smell of piss. So anyways, I will be looking for a place to eat. Chick-fil-A is the only destination I can see for myself right now. And it's pretty cloudy. I think it might be raining because yesterday it was raining. In the morning I'm in Central Park it's pretty humid here pretty hot but overall a beautiful day and the Central Park is pretty busy like a lot of people jogging cycling just can't stop looking at these concrete jungle I'm in New York concrete jungle how much Beyonce out of 10 am I look just look at that that's crazy. I've seen a couple of real estate agents on YouTube that are like touring those apartments and penthouses and it's insane. Like we're talking hundreds of millions of dollars for an apartment. Watching all these buildings in the streets, I'm like, what if you were born here? You're probably like watching every movie out there with a completely different experience. Like you're, you're watching it and thinking like, I can go to my backyard and literally see a place where this was shot you know this is crazy i can imagine like if all movies were shot at the place where i was growing up that'd be funny i'm also wondering how many times during this last 
for example, 50 years, has anyone tried to, you know, officially get a permit to start building something like a skyscraper and move the line of uh, Central Park to, you know, further urbanize this area? Because these guys are holding on pretty tight. This line hasn't changed like forever and can't stop thinking about like how we could have like even better parks and even better areas in Ukraine, in Kiev, but they, for some reason, giving those permits left and right just to build crap all around the city, which is sad. Like, I'm just literally walking here and now I'm in a, a John Wick movie and a bunch of other movies. Just check this out. This is where my man Keanu Reeves got excommunicado. Is it just me <laughs> when in, in in New York? That's sad. I thought I'm gonna be like a Spider-Man or a classic New York thing where you just get on. You're basically climbing out of the window to your fire staircase or some sort of balcony. That's a New York thing, right? I've seen it in movies. This is how it looks in my room. There's definitely a place here to be, but I think next room has the same windows, so I'd be able just to see what happens in the next room, which is probably not cool. So I have these kind of blockers that do not allow me to open the window more. I guess I ain't no Spider-Man today. Since it's my business trip here to New York, we brought some, I don't know, printable materials or how you call that, that we will be sharing with our business partners. And I wanted to show you what am I doing for work. I'm developing this kind of uh, service that's called Pintop, your go-to solution for effortless and automated influencer marketing, YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok. So this is why I'm here to basically have uh, these networking sessions where I will be telling people from the industry about this product that we built and it says Simeon Kremenyuk, CEO and co-founder. So that's what I'm doing here. So my boy is here. You ready? Influencer Marketing Conference New York 2024. <laughs> we are ready to go and pitch Pintop, the next greatest thing in yes. influencer marketing. Yes. We'll be streamlining those brand deals for you. <laughs> okay, sold. Sold. Jonathan, what do you think about the first day? That burger. No, 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 not the burger. Oh, okay. uh, first day. The first day was uh, you're getting your your feet, like the, the ground underneath your feet. We made some good contacts. We reconnected with contacts that um, now I think we can hopefully solidify better partnerships. With, um, so boring. Okay, so business is over, it's 8 p.m. I'm off to have some food and feels like I wanna Chick-fil-A again. So, might get a full time experience with that. So I'm home already. Why I was in New York? I was there for business. I went to uh, influencer marketing show New York. The same show is gonna happen end of August in London. I might go there as well. But my idea and my first job was to tell industry professionals about Pentop, the product that I develop for influencer marketing industry. and. Overall, I think it was success. If I knew that how it will happen, I probably wouldn't go because there was my American colleague and he would have done the same job without me. But that doesn't mean that I didn't enjoy the 
trip. Mostly because, you know, it's New York and it is the most Instagrammable place you could be. So I enjoyed that, taking pictures, just sightseeing, it was amazing. I did my work, everything was great as well. It was pretty tiring because we worked like from the very morning till the very late because there were after parties and you know how it happens. I also uh, was thinking all the time if I would wanted to live in New York, this is just me or I don't know, this is just crazy that wherever I go, I always think like, would I be living here with my family and kids? And no, New York is not the place, as well as Toronto is not the place to live with a bunch of kids. That's my personal opinion. But overall, like I said, it was a very good trip and I'm happy about it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel. This is motivates me the best. Every comment I'm waiting as a Christmas, you know. Every comment is very valuable to me, every subscriber. And I again want to thank you for supporting my channel. Bye.